if you want to learn how to make this traditional authentic Haitian bread stay tuned I'm gonna show you around you're gonna find yourself making this bread every single day it's that good Hi guys, welcome back to Cindy's Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make a traditional Haitian bread. Let me tell you, you will not find this recipe anywhere else. It's my own recipe, actually my mom's. <laughs> she taught me how to do it. It's super easy, but it takes some time, but it's going to be the best Haitian bread you've ever had in your life. Better than the bakery. Or oh, actually, yeah, better than the bakery. So, check out the my description box. I have the link there. You can go to my website, cindyscookingrecipes.com for the recipe. So you will need baking soda, I'm sorry, baking powder, salt, sugar, water, butter, and lard, and all-purpose flour. Go ahead and add them all together. And if you have a butter cutter, use it to break the butter with the flour. Basically, all you're going to do is mix everything together until the butter is all broken down in the lard and the flour. And then you go on and followed by the water. We're using warm water, not hot but to warm like when it's like really warm on the back of your hands and not your palm so you go ahead and you break all that together for a minute I'm using my hand because I don't I actually should get a cutter I'm gonna get one soon if you have a stand mixer God bless you but I don't have one yet and I believe God will bless me one soon enough so if you don't have if you don't have a stand mixer you have one this will save you so much time because the because the kneading, oof, you're going to be kneading for a while. So I suggest if you plan on making bread, don't work your biceps. Because you're going to need that strength and energy for the rolling and the kneading the dough. If you don't have a stead mixer. I don't have one. So, you know, but you know, God will give me one soon. So I need you guys to watch my videos a lot more. So that way I can buy a stead mixer. Thank you. So you've added the water to the flour make sure go ahead and mix it until it forms a dough it will be very sticky and messy this is the thing you're gonna keep kneading it until your hand becomes very clean this is why i said if you have a stand mixer you're a lucky blessed person um i don't have one yet i mean i'm still blessed i just don't have one yet which i will eventually have one so so you're gonna keep kneading you're gonna knead this for five to seven minutes until you see that it stops sticking it's not gonna keep sticking on your hand and it will be a little bit more clean right so go ahead and keep kneading for on the flat surface for five to seven minutes As you can see, I'm still kneading. It's very sticky and it looks messy. It looks like you may need more flour, but you don't. You want the dough to be soft. You don't want it to be hard. You want it to be soft. And you're just going to keep kneading until your hand becomes clean. It will become clean. The, the more you knead this, the better of a bread you will have. So trust me, like I said, don't go to the gym that day and then you'll be all set. So kneading it more, taking the time to really knead it will give you a really good dough. It will develop the gluten and will make the dough will be very elastic as you can see. It will be a little bit more elastic so you just keep on kneading, kneading and after you knead it, you're going to let the dough rest for one hour in a warm place. Wherever your warmest um, spot is in your house, place it there, not in the sun, just somewhere that's warm. That can be inside of the oven. That's usually a really warm place. That's where I normally store my bread, my doughs, my dough. Is it is doughs? That's not that's not a word. <laughs> okay, that's where I normally place my dough. You see how elastic it got? So yeah, just go ahead, cover it with a wet towel and let it rest for one hour. Thank you. 
this is what the dough looks like after it's been rested for one hour it will rise a little bit but not too much because it's only baking powder we have in there not yeast and true Haitian bread do not contain yeast okay so you will see some bakery have their bread taste different and you can tell who uses yeast and who doesn't yep um yeah trust me on that so go ahead and knead it a few more times. You see how elastic you guys see how beautiful the dough is too. Knead a few more times. Let me tell you, um, though if you want to enjoy this bread, you want the maximum enjoyment, take the time to knead the dough. Knead the dough. Like I said, don't if especially if you didn't go to the gym, take this time to actually work out. My camera goes in and out of focus. I'm still learning how to like work it. I'm getting a new camera soon. Thank God. I'm excited for this. I'm gonna give you guys way better content. That's gonna look a lot better without having this focus out of focus problem but yeah this is what it looks like and for the next step what we're gonna do you're gonna split your dough into three to four parts and then you're gonna roll on each parts for a good five to seven minutes you're gonna keep rolling it flipping it side rolling it flatten it flatten it loose all that and tell you the literally the secret to a really good Haitian bread is needing it <laughs> so I this is why I keep showing you this. I don't want to just show you one short clip of me kneading and you think that's all. No, you really have to take the time to knead it and roll it a lot. And that's how you will have a authentic Haitian bread. So go ahead and cut it into parts. And then you're going to take each part. You're going to roll each part for five to seven minutes. That's really the secrets to a good Haitian bread, as, as I mentioned before. I'm, I know I keep repeating myself, but that's just, I don't know how else to stress it to you guys <laughs> but go ahead and roll it get it all rolling um you know whatever it is if you don't have a roller you should buy one or use a a wine bottle that's actually a little bit dangerous so just get a roller get a roller amazon walmart check out my soft front i do have a list of like all the stuff for bread making so check out my soft front yeah and just keep rolling it flip it sides and just roll and roll put your all your strength in there you guys and i'm telling you you will actually do love this bread and you will not be buying bread at the store anymore trust me on that trust me literally everybody in my house my whole family my friends love this bread like they're harassing me every single day to make it for them <laughs> like <laughs> seriously like i brought one bread they're like oh that's all you bring and i'm like yeah i'm like it's hot you guys it's like a hundred degrees and i don't i can't keep making bread like it's hot i'm hot like that's a lot of work you know but they, don't, they just want bread they don't care you see i flip it sides you fold roll fold flip roll fold flip roll fold flip do what you gotta do but keep folding keep rolling and then the thing is this bread you can also shape it however you want you can try to make little circles, um, square. To be quite frank with you, I can only do a few shapes. I do the roll, so I just do the loaves. I can't really shape. I, you know, I try to do like square shapes and circles. Didn't work as well, but all you have to do is just stack it up. You know, keep folding it. Fo after you roll it, fold it. Roll it again, fold it, fold it, and then you use a cutter, like a good cutter, to cut out the perfect circle shape. That's what I tried. It came out fine. But I prefer to do like a roll, like a, a nice little loaf. I want to take this time to thank you guys for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. It's actually very helpful. And I hope that you guys enjoy my videos. And I do hope that all my videos actually help you, um you know be a better cook I don't know <laughs> I hope so I'm not the best cook I tried my best you know so I do hope you actually do learn a thing of you and you guys have told me that have shared that with me so I'm really happy and I'm looking to really do make this my career do YouTube full-time so I really would appreciate it if you share my videos like comment this mean a lot to me actually it's you know you watching my videos is a lot you know so this is your time that you're giving me so I really do appreciate that so, as you see, as I finished rolling my dough, I just go ahead and fold. This is the shape that I wanted. That was actually the easiest shape for me. So, I did it that shape. All you have to do is just roll it, you know. After you roll it, make sure you tuck in the other side and the uh, the tips. Tuck it in under the dough. So, that way it's not 
you know it could have a beautiful shape just tuck it in and there you go it's super easy but it just takes time it takes a lot of time and you know, it takes a lot of work but i promise you guys it'll be the best bread you'll ever make it is so good you guys and as you, i'm just gonna ask you if you could subscribe if you have not um if you're new here i have a lot i have over 300 videos on my channel please go ahead and watch some more and subscribe look at how it came out it's nice you know in haiti we call it when bed looks like it we say pain bien rale. you know i don't know how to say that in english but you see the bread you see the dough you see it like you guys this with some avocado oh my gosh you can eat this with whatever you want let me tell you people my people have been eating it like that i've been eating it like that too it's so good you guys it's delicious i'm gonna make some today's went what's today today's tuesday right i'm gonna make some t tomorrow for my grandma's i'm going to new york I'm gonna make some for my grandma and bring her some and yeah and I've been making bread every single day y'all every single day people won't leave me alone everybody wants bread but I love making food for people so I'm <laughs> I'm gonna make it for them <laughs> but you can eat this with whatever you like I make chic thai the recipe is coming out Thursday stay tuned I'm excited I ate the bread with chic thai you can eat it with jam papaya jam i have the recipe coming up too i filmed it pineapple jam yes 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 i do have the recipe for that but those recipes are already on my website my mango jam all of that you can eat it with that with peanut butter but this is what it like looks like if you like my recipe go ahead and like this video give it a nice thumbs up and of course thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video thank you enjoy your bread